My name is Nelson Eisman, and this is my growth story. My expectations for digital creative really was kind of, in a lot of ways, almost an extension of, of my undergrad. I was almost picturing it to be, you know, they're gonna, sure they're gonna help you find a job and then they're gonna help, you know, build some digital skills, build your resume, you know, find, find a company for you. But that it wasn't gonna be that intensive, that it wasn't gonna be that, you know, time intensive or even that emotionally draining. Um, and that completely, you know, completely was turned on its head when Bootcamp Week started. So we hit the ground running with Bootcamp Week. Um, for me, it was already, you know, ex extremely strenuous. First, my first day at the first company that I was placed with was also the first day of Bootcamp. So it was a lot of changes um, for me. You know, it was uh, culminated with a project at the end of the week, um, which was kind of bringing all these different ideas and creative creative solutions together for a presentation that we actually presented to, to the company that I was working with. And it really showed me immediately that we, this, was going to be a, this was going to be a difficult thing. If the only value that digital creative brought to the table was that they helped us place in a job, well, if I can find a job elsewhere, then why do I need digital creative? And it really, for me, that paradigm shift happened in kind of early January. Um, at that time, I had, you know, I left the company that I originally had placed with. Um, I kind of fired myself, if you will, um, and just felt that it wasn't that wasn't a good position for me. Um, and that's where I really had to start thinking again, back to kind of that purpose-driven mindset that I saw early in the interview process. I had some pretty crucial conversations with Victor and Brad, and I can even remember an email that Brad sent back to me. Uh, not necessarily proud of it, but sent him a pretty pretty rude email, kind of saying, well, "What's the value in DCI, and you know, why should I why should I even continue doing this if if you can't place me in a company or however that entailed?" And and his response was was very very candid, and he essentially told me, "You know, the value of DCI is not in recruiting. The value of DCI is in the experience that you get, in the the portfolio that you can build out." and the people that you meet along the way. And for me, that's where that paradigm shift changed. And it, it became a lot less about, well, what can I get out of DCI and more about what can I be doing right now in order to make this experience great? How can I get as much information and as much experience, expertise, in the next six months of this engagement so that I can walk away feeling like it was a great experience?